الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبت في الله from the way of the salaf al-salih رضوان الله عليه as collected by Imam al-Alqa'i in his book شارع أصول الاعتقاد أهل السنة he mentioned a statement of Umar bin al uh, Umar bin, uh, bin Abdulaziz Rahmatullahi alayhi rahmatin wasi'ah which in this statement it shows the sabil al-mu'mineen the way of the believers the path of ahl sunnati wal jama'ah the way all of the Muslims should traverse the way that follows the way that when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Khayr al-Nas Qarni Thumma al-Ladhini Yalunuhum Thumma al-Ladhini Yalunuhum The Prophet Alaihi Salatu Wasallam said The best people are those of my generation Then those who follow them Then those who follow them So here the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was Articulating the fact that the best people were his generation, meaning those who were his companions, and then those after them, they then those after them, because they were closest to the Prophet and they were uh, students of the companions, those that were in righteousness following his way, because they were the closest and they knew the Sabil Mu'mineen, they knew the path of Ahlul Sunnah, they knew the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Thumma ladhini yalunum, then those who followed them, meaning the itba' tabi'een, those people who were students of the tabi'een, who were students of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een. So you see the silsila, you see the chain, you see that these people were Ahlul Hadith wa Sunnah, Ahlul Athar, they were the Salaf al-Saleh. They were the pious predecessors, rahimahumullah jami'an. So Umar ibn Abdulaziz, rahmatullahi alayhi rahmatin wasiya, he said, he said, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam and the authorities, meaning the leaders of the Muslims, the Khulafa Rashidin, after him set certain ways and practices. To follow these ways is to believe in Allah's book and to complete obedience of him and to be strong upon the religion of Allah it is not for anyone to alter those ways or change them for something else it is not for anyone to consider the views and opinions of those who contradict them whomever follows what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his Khulafa laid down will be guided. Whoever seeks enlightenment through it will be enlightened. But whoever contradicts those ways and follows a way other than the way of the believers, Allah the Mighty and Majestic will leave him in the path he has chosen and land him in Jahannam and what an evil destination that is. Ahabatifillah this shows us that this is not a new minhaj. This is not a new methodology. The way of the Salaf al-Salih. But in contemporary times, it is upon us to look back to the method of the Salaf and adhere to it if we want success. I believe it was a statement of Imam Shafi'i, rahimahullah ta'ala, or perhaps Imam Malik, rahimahullah in which he said, which means, La yasla, awwala, uh, la yasla akhra havihi umma, illa bima salaha awwalaha, o kama qal. He said that this umma, this nation, will not be rectified except with that which rectified the people in the beginning, meaning the, the first of the Ummah, meaning the Sahaba, that means Tawheed, that means Iman, that means 
pure Islam, that means the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and it means the Sabil al Mu'minin, which is the Salaf al Salih. So that means it's upon us, Ahabat al to follow the Minhaj of the Salaf uncompromisingly, that we have to stick to that Usul, stick to those principles, because when we begin to take new ideologies and new madhabs and new ways of thinking that contradict the Sunnah, then we lead ourselves astray. And all bid'ah is misguidance. And all dalala or misguidance leads to the fire. So fear Allah as much as you can. And strive to be on the Sabila Mu'mineen. Seek guidance and refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the fitna. From the fitna of mankind in the fitna of disease in the fitna of of all the trials and tribulations that we face in this time wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam